Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about something brand new which has recently hit Squarespace and that is email campaigns. So basically, Squarespace has built into their platform the functionality of you know, a MailChimp and a ConvertKit which basically allow you to build up a mailing list, an email list of potential clients and build up an audience of people who are interested in what it is that you're doing and then be able to send out emails to these people. So this is currently out on a limited access basis. Not everybody has access to it. I did not, so I had to ask my lovely client Beth if I could use her Squarespace account for this tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to give you a demo of all of the features that are involved and then at the end, I'll let you know whether I recommend that you use this platform and how it compares uh, to popular options such as MailChimp and ConvertKit. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. So if you want to do that, make sure that you hit subscribe. All right, so let's dive into the email campaigns. All right, this is Beth's website, epicfamilies.com. Beth, thank you so much for letting me use your account. All right, so in order to access email campaigns, you're going to click on marketing and then email campaigns. And as you can see, she is on the early access and that means that she can send up to 50,000 emails per month, which sounds like a lot and that it's impossible. But what it means, it, the way that they count it is kind of different to what I'm used to. I'm used to counting by subscriber, um, but they do it by email. So that means if you have 1,000 email subscribers, then you can send out 50 emails per month. So that's a little different. Um, all right, so the first thing that you would do is go over here to where it says sender profiles and click create a sender profile. So this is who the email is being sent from. Type in your name and then your email. Okay, click next. And then what will happen is you will be emailed a verification code and you're going to paste that in here. Okay, but I'm going to skip that for now. So you're also going to need to make sure that you have your domain connected to your site and that you have your custom email. So see how she has Beth at epicfamilies.com. That is what you want versus something like a Gmail email. All right, so I'm gonna click back and the next thing we're going to do is create a mailing list. So I'm going to go in here and click create a mailing list. So this is a way of categorizing people. So if we're keeping it simple, you know, we could just do newsletter. Just keep in mind that people will be able to see this. So I'm gonna click save on that. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna click back and let's say that we want to create a campaign. I'm going to click create. And as you can see, there are all of these beautiful layouts that you can choose from. I love this. Of course, you know, it's all really modern and sleek like the rest of Squarespace. So I love that that continues on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose one that I like, click on that and then click use this layout. So then what we're going to do is write in our subject line here and your email preview text, that's what people will see. Um, it's like, you know, when you open your email and you can see a bit of the starter text. So I'm going to put starter text and then you're going to choose what mailing list you want to send this out to. So we're gonna send it out to that newsletter list that we just created. And we also need a legal address in the footer. So this is something that you need to do regardless of what email marketing platform you're using. So you would fill in your address. Okay, awesome. And then this is really great because what it does is it functions like the rest of Squarespace. So if I click over here, it's going to bring up my styling options on the right. 
So for example, I can click site logo and automatically it's going to bring in Beth's logo. Okay, we have a few other options there. Now I'm going to click on this section here and all I have to do is highlight it and replace it with my own text. Same with this. Okay, and again, all of the options to customize the look is right over here. So I can click here and change it to one of my colors. And of course, you can change your font. I like this. This is really cool that they're giving you um, different font types that work well together. So that's really cool. So when you click one of these, it's going to set your heading, subheading, and paragraph which is really awesome. And so you can set your font sizes, link colors. Again, like you would expect with Squarespace, you can customize every single thing about this email. So I could click on this image here, click manage. And here is where I can add in one of my own custom images. I have this little Facebook icon I was using. So let's upload that. And then I need to delete this front one and now it's going to replace in my image. So that was super easy, which I really like. And then if you click on it, you can actually link this to one of your pages on your website. So that's really cool. If I wanted to link this to the about page, I would just click on that and that's where it would go. So with each of these blocks, just go through and customize it for your brand. I love that they've made it so easy. Like, you know, you just click on a section and then change it. That really has made it super simple. And another thing that's really cool is if you hover in between two different blocks and then you click on the plus sign here, you can add in different block sections. So you can add in text, images, button, spacer, line, blog, or product. I love that this makes it really easy for you to share your blog posts. So I can literally just click blog and then go over here and click add blog post. And this is going to bring up all of your recent blog posts. You can just click on one of those and then select and that's going to pull that in. Look how beautiful that is. This is just one of the reasons why I love Squarespace. They just make everything so easy for you. So this is awesome. So everything about your email can be customized for your brand. Then you're going to click email, looks good, and you can send a test to yourself. So this is all well and good, but of course we need to know how we would actually build the mailing list. So let's go back out of this area here, as you can see, it's saved as a draft. So let's say we wanted to actually build her mailing list. At the moment, as you can see at the bottom here, we have a free questionnaire and you can fill in your name and email to get access to that. So she is currently using ConvertKit. Now let's go down to the not linked section and just create a sample page and I'll show you how you would build your mailing list if you were to use Squarespace email campaigns. So you're just going to find your insert point, click on that, scroll down and add a newsletter block. So we're going to click on that. And as you can see, it has brought in this really nice block already. And if you want, you can collect the first and last name just by clicking this circle down here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to click on storage. And as you can see, we have Squarespace campaigns. So I'm going to click to connect and it's going to bring up a dropdown of our list. So this is fantastic because it means we can categorize people based on interest. So for example, we could have multiple lists. Uh, for my business, I could have one for people who are interested in Squarespace. Then I could have another for people that are interested in ConvertKit. Uh, there's a lot that you can do here, which is going to make your emails much more relevant for the people that are receiving them. So I absolutely love that. So that's all you would really need to do. So I'm gonna click apply. And now if somebody fills in their information here and clicks sign up. 
they're going to be automatically added to your mailing list. So I'm going to click Save. All right, so let's go back into Email Campaigns. So from what I can tell, that is all of the features of email campaigns at this moment. It is a new feature, so I'm sure they'll probably be building out more and more features. Um, but it is fantastic if you want a simple newsletter and you want to be able to easily send out emails to your list. So let's talk comparison to popular options such as MailChimp and ConvertKit. So the first thing that we need to talk about is price. It was actually very difficult to find what the price of email campaigns is. So um, they haven't fully released that yet, but I believe it is going to start at $8 a month for Squarespace email campaigns. Now this is in contrast to what I would regularly suggest for a simple mailer, and that is MailChimp. MailChimp is free and it is pretty easy to connect it to Squarespace as well. But still looking at the two, I would probably recommend that you go with Squarespace email campaigns as well because then it's all in one place and I love that you can easily pull in your recent blog posts or any of your products and it just makes linking and everything so simple. You might not want to pay the $8 a month, but I always like to think to myself, okay, you know, how much time is this going to save me? Even if it just saves you an hour of your time, it's well worth it and is only $8. So the main things that this is missing is things like automated emails. So what it's not doing is when someone signs up for your mailing list, it's not automatically sending them a welcome email. So depending on how advanced you are with email marketing, if you're you know, creating lots of freebies for your email list and you want you know, funnels running in the background and things like that, then this is definitely not going to work for you. And so that's why I use and love and recommend ConvertKit because it allows us to do a lot more advanced things than, than this. And I have to mention that even the free plan for MailChimp does allow you to have some automation. So it might be worth it for you if you want to you know, have a freebie and have it automatically delivered and then follow up with some sales emails. If you want that happening automatically, then maybe um, MailChimp could work for you for that. As soon as you have more than one freebie and one funnel running in the background, I recommend that you switch to ConvertKit because in general, it's just way easier and I don't actually find MailChimp that great to work with. But the intro plan to ConvertKit is $29 a month for your first 1,000 subscribers. So there is a cost involved, but as I said, as soon as you start getting into more advanced email marketing, then you're definitely going to want to upgrade. It is possible that Squarespace is going to uh, build in more features. So, you know, my opinion might change, but as of today, which is August 7th, um, that's my opinion on this, but I love all of their templates are absolutely stunning. So you would definitely stand out in people's uh, inbox because your email uh, is above and beyond. So hopefully this helps and hopefully that was clear in comparison to what the other platforms can do. If you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. I would love to hear your thoughts on this new feature, so let me know what you think in the comments below and if you're going to be using it for your business. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting subscribe and the bell so that you get notified every time I post something new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon with another video.